This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at a new AI model which claims to do quantitative reasoning and this is a language model. Okay, so this is from Google research and it is known as Minerva. Okay, so what is this language model? What is it capable of? Okay, so here is an example of what it is capable of. So this is a simple mathematical equation. Now the claim over here is that the model is able to solve this equation. Okay, so the question over here is for every a comma b where b not equal to a, prove that a square plus b square divided by 2 is always greater than a plus b by 2 whole square. Okay, and this is the solution which is given by the model. So what is the claim over here? Given some mathematical problems like this, this model is actually capable of multi-step quantitative reasoning and producing a mathematical solution basically okay so this is a very interesting claim right they also have an interactive sample explorer where they have uh, given you know a lot of examples from different domains like uh, probability you know uh, this is the question and this is the solution uh, physics right even biology okay even chemistry even machine learning Right, so uh, this is a question over here, and this is the solution. Right, k fold cross validation is which of the following is the right choice? Explain your answer. Okay, there is linear in k, quadratic in k. So, this is the model answer. Okay, and it's a correct answer. This is another question. So, they have given the different problems where this particular model has developed, uh, you know, which has given a solution. Okay, now let's go back. Now, what is this particular uh, Minerva? Okay, so this is a language model capable of solving mathematical and scientific questions using step-by-step -step reasoning. Okay, what they are saying is that uh, they have focused on collecting training data that is, really, uh, that is relevant for this quantitative reasoning problems and then they have trained models at scales and they have employed best-in-class inference techniques and they say that they have got a significant performance gains on these kind of quantitative reasoning tasks. So they say that Minerva makes use of, uh, you know, few short prompting, chain of thought, scratch pad, uh, prompting, majority voting. These are different techniques, okay, to achieve the state of art performance on STEM reasoning tasks. Okay, so the model parses and answers mathematical questions using a mix of natural language and mathematical notation. That is a simple idea over here. That is a language model is there which is capable of doing all these things. So we have to take, uh, you know, these uh, solutions at their face value because neither is this model exposed, okay, as an API where you can give your problem and then find out a solution. So we have to take on face value whatever solutions uh, which have been presented over here for problems. So they have also published a paper which you can look at, right, where they talk about, uh, you know, slightly more details on how, what is this model and how it works, okay. But the idea over here is that they make use of uh, chain of prompting, right? Chain of thought prompting. Chain of thought prompting is nothing but the model is prompted to produce intermediate reasoning steps before giving the final answer. So if you have a question like this, intermediate prompts are generated for the intermediate steps. So step by step, the model tries to solve a problem. So that is what has been used over here. Along with other techniques like scratch pad uh, prompting, so if you look at uh, scratch pad prompting, it is some kind of giving a memory or a scratch pad to a model whereby intermediate steps are, you know, um, uh, uh, basically a problem is solved step by step. Okay. They train transformers to perform multi-step computations by asking them to emit the intermediate computation steps into a scratch pad and using this, they try to solve. Okay. So here a combination of all these different techniques are used. Okay. So another thing over here is what they say is when they are pre-processing, uh, in common pre-processing when there is this text, you know, these mathematical equations and other things are removed. Whereas in this particular model, they retain these mathematical notations as well. So that the model is able to learn these mathematical notations. That is what is mentioned over here. Okay. And what happens over here is that they say that it includes chain of thought prompting where Minerva is prompted with several step-by-step -step solutions to existing questions before being presented with a new question and they use something called as majority voting. So like most language models, this model assigns probabilities to different possible outputs when answering a question 
rather than taking a single solution this looks at multiple solutions and you know picks the one with the highest probability so they use something called as majority voting over here all these are very high level idea of what is happening over here right and they claim that this is giving very good results on various benchmarks like you know high school math competition level problems a uh, subset of massive multitask language understanding benchmark focused on stem uh, covering topics such as engineering chemistry maths uh, grade school level math problems so they claim that this is doing um, much better than state of art results even by a wide margin and this is a 540 billion uh, parameters model okay now some of the things this model gets wrong as well for example this is a simple question over here where you have square root of 400 is equal to square root of 81 plus square root of n the answer over here is 319 given by the model because it cancels the square root and it just does 400 minus 81 and gives 319 which is a wrong answer the correct answer is this this is 20 square root of 400 this is 81 uh, which is square root of 81 is uh, 9 so 20 minus 9 is equal to square root of n so what is uh, which is 11 okay 11 is equal to square root of n or n is equal to 11 square which is 121 which is the correct answer but this model is not able to do it so this model makes some uh, mistakes where it does calculation errors some are reasoning errors right for example over here there is this question which talks about uh, you know at each basketball practice last week jenny made twice as many free throws as she made at the previous practice at her fifth practice she made 48 free throws what how did she start with how many free throws did she start with so the idea over here is that fifth practice 48 fourth practice 48 by 2 24 third practice 24 by 2 12 second practice 12 by 2 6 first practice 6 by 2 is 3 right that is how this calculation goes but here it just takes the fourth throw okay and it says that 48 divided by 2 is 24 that is the answer so it it is not able to really compute so in a way it is not able to do reasoning in these cases okay so the claim over here is that this model is capable of reasoning but to me it looks like some high very high level of pattern matching whereby it is able to generate some answers i don't think it is got to do with reasoning as such but the claim here is that it is reasoning okay so i hope uh, i have given you an idea about this model called minerva from google which is capable of producing solutions for quantitative problems okay it makes use of a pathways language model which is further trained on scientific papers of the arxiv uh, preprint which has mathematical expressions then they have also uh, done some uh, uh, text cleaning procedures where they have uh, they don't remove mathematical expressions and symbols okay and they say that this model makes use of chain of thought scratch prior prompting and everything so what i will do is that in the link uh, to this video i'll put this uh, blog i'll also put the different papers which have been referred over here you can have a look at it you can also have a look at this minerva sample explorer where they have you know where they have um, provided solutions to certain selected questions under these various areas so what is the use of such a model so what these authors are envisioning is that in the future when this model gets better and better and better then you have a teaching assistant for you who can actually help you out with your mathematical problems that is the whole idea behind this that's what they say that in the future one of the directions is that this could become like a, a assistant teaching assistant right for researchers for uh, new learning opportunities provides new learning opportunities for students I hope you like this video about a short video about Minerva um, the model if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video happy learning